Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. I'm coming at you with kind of a different style of YouTube video this time. It's going to be a tutorial on how to make um, a YouTube thumbnail using the website Canva. Um, as always guys, I'd appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe and comment. Let me know if you guys like this style of video, if you want more of it, or if you don't like it at all, that's fine. Um, this is my girlfriend Chloe, and she's gonna be kind of telling you exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Hi guys. We are going to be using Canva to show you how we made our YouTube thumbnail and how you can make your own. This is the thumbnail I made Jamie for his reverse 2K cup and we are going to show you step by step how to make your own. When you log into Canva, you will be able to make your own free account and there you will see this homepage. I'm going to put the link in the description to uh, Canva so you guys can click right on it. And on this homepage, you will see that there is a create a design button in the top right corner. When you click that, you have a ton of options for the sizing and what you want to make. But we are going to work with the first one, presentation. That's 1920 by 1080. Once you click on presentation, you will come to your design and you are going to want to click on templates in the left, uh, far left corner. And that's a good place to start. All right, so for this thumbnail, I wanted to get a gradient background. Um, you guys could type up here if you want something specific, but for this video, we are going to use purple, teal, clean, simple gradient presentation. Um, you just go ahead and click on the style that you want, delete all the unnecessary stuff out of there so you just have the background. And as you can see up here, we have two colors and we could change them to whatever we want for our gradient. I'm gonna go ahead and change the colors and I'm gonna make the gradient dark to light. So to change the colors of your background, you wanna to come to the upper left-hand corner and click the color you want to change. So I'm gonna change the light blue first and I'm gonna make that a dark blue. And so now we have a nice gradient and now I'm gonna change the purple. I'm gonna click the purple color and make that a light blue. And I this turquoise. So now we have a dark to light gradient. Add a title. We're going to go over here on the left, click text, add a header, and click into the text box. Um, what I found that the closest font to the Fortnite leaderboards is, is this font up here, Fire Sands Black. Once you have written your title and decided on a location and font color, we are going to go ahead and give it some effect. So click on your title and click effects right above it. We have been using the shadow effect. We like that background so we are going to keep it exactly how it is I like that okay so let's give this thumbnail some elements we're going to add the placement and players so we want to add elements for that so go ahead and click elements and for the player names I'm going to find a shape and I am going to go ahead and click shape under the search bar for this element, I actually use this one right here. It doesn't look like it'll work, but trust me, it's what you want. The thing I love about Canva is that everything basically is editable. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this shape and change the sizing. So I'm gonna make it longer and make it smaller because it's thick, longer again, and again, smaller. Position it where I want it, smaller and go ahead and change the color. From here, go ahead and use the text feature again to make your placement and player names and position those where you want them. Now that you've added your number sign, your placement, and your player names, I'm gonna show you how to make the cool outline to the 900. So when you go ahead and click the 900, I am going to right click, copy, and make a copy of the 900. So go ahead and make that copy. And so I'm gonna put it right over the 900 Go to effects, and here I'm going to want hollow to get that outline. Now you can't really see it, so I'm gonna change that color to white. All right guys, so now we're gonna show you how to make the placement wheel. We go over, head over to elements, and type in hollow circle, which brings us this shape right here. All right guys, so I went ahead and duplicated this circle to make it easier for cropping. Um, we're gonna to wanna to crop the first one to the amount of uh, kill, Percentages that we had, mine happened to be 27%, so right around a quarter. Right there looks good. We're gonna click done when we're done cropping. And then we're gonna put this one right over that and try and get 
as much of this circle as we can. Right there looks to be good. Click done, and then get the final circle, lay it over top, and crop that. And what we're gonna wanna do for this one is leave a little bit on this right side so it can connect better with the other piece that we have. Click done. And then we're gonna want to finally crop this last piece and get that little space that we have on the leaderboard. After we repositioned the graph and made it look good, we took the elimination bar and made that a nice blue to make it stand out. And then, as you can see with the points right in the middle of it, we did that just by clicking text and doing it the same exact way as we did with the title with the nice shadow effect. All right, and for the next part, um, it's definitely optional, but you can add it if you like. I thought it looked really cool, so I did. Um, you can add these elimination and placement icons and add the text down below. The icons we found in the elements and the text, you just create a text box like you did before. And last but not least, probably the most important part of any Fortnite thumbnail is going to be the Fortnite character. Um, I found this nice website where you can get any character that was in the item shop um, and put them right into your thumbnail. So you're gonna wanna go over to this website. I'll link it down below in the description and click on whichever character you want. Um, just for example, I'm gonna use the Lux skin. And if you see, you click on it twice and just go right here. You can click on the icon and it will give you a transparent icon to use in your thumbnail. After you found the Fortnite character you want, just copy and paste it into your thumbnail, reposition it, resize it, and there you go, you got a thumbnail. If you guys made it this far, I really appreciate you guys sticking around and I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we'll help you. Also guys, it would really mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. And I also try and stream almost every day on Twitch, so come say hi. Thanks.